I just got uh, an SMS on my phone and it's been a long time since I've been waiting for this, the train here. I'm not going to be taking the train, I'm just walking back home. I've been waiting for this package for a really long time. I just got the SMS, it's here. It is the new MacBook, the latest edition. So I am literally right now with my groceries, rushing back home so we can unbox this and we can check it out. Let's go. Okay, so now the moment that I have been waiting for, opening up this MacBook, let's jump straight into it. <laughs> I nearly dropped it. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. But right here is the new MacBook. Woo! So let's open this up. So I've actually switched to a desktop configuration for the last couple of years. When I was working at Unacademy, I did have a MacBook from them and that was, I think maybe a 2017 model. But ever since then, I've just mostly been an iMac guy. However, the problem with that is I cannot use it while traveling. And number two, I really have to be at this desk, which means I can't even go work out of a cafe. For that, however, I do have my iPad. I'm really surprised how much I've been using the iPad. I never imagined, but it's been an absolute game changer in terms of design process, especially taking notes, wireframing, and being able to do that digitally. Even I even use that while running class to be able to show people sketches. But this is gonna be really useful for me when I travel and so that I can do some more intense video editing, maybe class sessions while I'm on the go. So let's get back to this here. Here is our MacBook. I'm gonna open this up. I haven't really opened up a MacBook in a while, man, but wow. My friends would always look at me and be like, bro, you handle your MacBook two lakhs. Like in the office, between meetings, this is how I would walk with my eye. Yo, what's up? You ready for our meeting, bro? Let's let's jump into it. I don't think I'll be doing that with this new one, but uh, I love that. That's pretty much Kanye mode. That's how I do it. This is our lovely, lovely new Space Gray MacBook. So in the box right here, we've got a bunch of stuff. So glad to be able to have this. And this does also have a really nice, I'm not really gonna show you all of this. It's pretty standard. But here we've got, of course, the Apple stickers. Ooh. Wow, now this is something I'm seeing for the first time. The stickers on this are black. I've never actually seen black stickers in one of these devices. I really want to use this on something because it's so rare to literally see a black Apple logo on something. Let's actually jump into our main show right here, which is the MacBook itself. There you go. There's the clean. Ooh. For me, my criteria for picking a computer was definitely performance, looks, and longevity. I want this Mac to be the one that I use for the next decade. So I'm so glad to have this. And that was really good for me because I was traveling around a lot. Whether that was freelancing or when I moved from college back to Bangalore and then Bombay and everything else. It was a really, really good choice for me back then. Eventually, I decided to switch to this, which is more iMac desktop setup. Still no extra screens, just this primary 27 inch 5K screen, which is ooh, so crispy. What changed for me was I actually got an iPad and the iPad filled in that gap for me between portability and power. For power, I had this workstation 5K screen with really good specs and I would use this for video editing, for running classes, for shooting, 
for live sessions and for my design work. My iPad on the other hand became my note taking device. So I would use the iPad for wireframing, making notes, brainstorming, and even using it as a way to screen share my notes and use it as a whiteboard during meetings. So that has been amazing. Number one, visual upgrades. It's got that same boxy feel that I had in my old one. That was a bit of a factor for me. It's also got the slimmer bezels and with the notch, I really liked how that visually looks. And of course, the MagSafe. Now, of course, this was not a big factor in me deciding this, but I do love that there's now a dedicated charging port, which does have that. I am excited to be using this. It's been a long time coming. And guys, at the end of it, it's just a laptop. The tools that we have, they are here to do our bidding. No matter what the tools are, it's really up to us to develop the capability to push these tools to our limits to achieve the goals that we want. So folks, I'm not really a tech reviewer, but I will say I'm really excited to add this machine to my everyday workflow and see what I use it for. I also hope that this can become my primary device that I use to run classes, shoot videos, do live sessions while I'm on the go and traveling. So I don't really need this huge desktop setup. Would I recommend this as a designer? I don't know. I'm not a tech review channel. But if you're a designer and you're looking for the most powerful machine, that is also portable, has a bunch of ports, HDMI, SD card, USB-C, MagSafe, and runs really well. This might be the laptop you want. I did have a little bit of a difficult time selecting which exactly I wanted. I had actually initially ordered the M2 Pro, but then when I went through the reviews, I realized that the M1 Pro is just so much more of a better deal. M2 doesn't have the ports, it doesn't have the notch, it doesn't have this new form factor, and it has a touch bar, which I wasn't really into. So I ended up getting the M1 Pro. This is a 16 GB RAM with one TB hard disk, and of course, beautiful, beautiful screen, which is what I'm all about. But if you, that's something you want me to make, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.